Arizona State goes to Cincinnati. Cincinnati, a six and a half point home favorite, total of 49 and a half. And this one is very interesting. Sam Levitt, the quarterback for Arizona State, is uh, is out for this game, which is weird. I mean, he went back to the locker room in the last game, the win over Utah, and came back out, played the rest of the game. Jeff Sims only had two passes thrown in that game. It, but if Jeff Sims is going to be your quarterback, then, yeah, I mean, this thing moved from Cincy minus two and a half all the way up to six and a half. And, uh, well, I mean, it makes sense, right? Because Jeff Sims is like the walking turnover. That's what happened with him at Nebraska. Now, maybe Kenny Dillingham has had some success with him. I'm going to doubt it, though. This is the third uh, third team that he has started for. Uh, Georgia Tech, of course, where he was last year at Nebraska, and now he's at uh, Arizona State. But maybe, maybe something good has happened. Uh, my number on this was Arizona State minus .35. Based on the last four weeks, it was Cincy minus .2. I mean, it's just, it's as pick em as you can get. It is pick em, pick em, pick em. And yet, when you take out that quarterback, then all of a sudden it becomes uh, kind of tricky because you you don't know if you can trust him. I will tell you, I bet on Nebraska so many times last year when Sims was the starter, and um, and it cost me. So in this situation, I'm certainly going to go against that. Uh, since he, they can throw the ball, number 27 in PPA per pass. They didn't look great last week. Soresby overall on the season, though, has had a really good season. They're number seven in passing success rate. Uh, Arizona State's defense is number 73. The strength for Cincinnati's offense goes against the weakness of Arizona State's defense, and the weakness of Cincy's offense goes against the strength of Arizona State's defense. So matchup-wise, this is not good for the Sun Devils. On the other side, yes, Cincy's defense is not great at stopping the run, but they are okay. They don't allow explosives. They're number 26 in rushing explosiveness allowed. They're not great on stuff rate. They are okay as far as standard down success rate, number 70, Arizona State, number 19, they can stay ahead of the change. Remember, Kenny Dillingham can change up an offense in no time. So, potentially, they don't. I'm going to change this. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change my pick on this. Dillingham is one of the smartest son of a guns out there. Last year, I think it was the UCLA game. What did they run? Like an, an old wing T or something? I mean, it was the craziest offense you've ever seen. Nobody knew what the hell to do with it. Yeah, mid mid pick. I had already written down what I was going to do. Uh, screw it. I'm going to Arizona State. They have plenty of time to figure out what they're going to do with Jeff Sims. And Jeff Sims is an athlete. So he will be able to do something. Uh, looking at the current number on this, uh, let's see, Cincy, Arizona State. Now, granted, this is uh, an early game for Arizona State. This is a, a noon Eastern time game. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm looking at this, and Arizona State, best number we can get right now is... Da, 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 da. Oh, people are starting to figure it out. People are starting to figure it out. Oh, no. Okay, best number we can get out there is a six right now. Uh, the thing has moved from the six and a half that it was at FanDuel. Most everybody has it five and a half now. I've got one six out there. Where's the six? Bet Rivers, Sugar House. Let's see. Who is that? Four Winds Casino. I can I can get down at Bet Rivers. Okay. All right. There's so there's a there's a few options. All right. Let's make it let's make it easy. Arizona State is changing quarterbacks. I don't think it's going to be as big of a deal because Kenny Dillingham is maybe one of the smartest head coaches that's out there, at least on the offensive side of the ball. Give me Arizona State plus six on that one. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question. You can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.